I'm a game. Cause we always hit the nail on the head. So check this out, my Miami Hurricane fans. This is another edition of crying, 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 crying. More college football teams crying. Georgia edition. The Bulldogs, the national champs. But it seems like there's not too many Bulldogs in this fan base. There's a bunch of Chihuahuas. Let's talk about it. So first up, we got a Georgia fan that's making excuses for Alabama. So of course, Miami's been stuffing Nick Saban in the locker room lately with these recruits. And a Georgia fan here making excuses for Alabama. Maybe Nick Saban told him to go to Miami and get paid and then transfer to Alabama. Really? <laughs> really? Oh my God. I can't make this shit up. Okay, now this one right here. Seven figures. Wow. Wow. If he was a top top 50 player to come to Miami, you would be negotiating seven figures over a million. Wow. The audacity of a Georgia fan. The once bagsmen that used to hand out the bags under the table are not afraid to hand the bag on the table. The, the, the defending national champs are scared of poor little old Miami. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, this should get this this old recruiting getting crazy. I love it. I love another, it. Another another one. Another one. DJ Cali style. They are after Janelle and um Hakeem, and so apparently Miami is the new Texas A&M of this season. The NCAA investigating, they don't give a rip. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Georgia, y'all in the SEC. Y'all make all this money, but you worrying about poor little old Miami. Why is everybody so worried about Miami? About a week ago, we was broke, man. Like, what's up? Keep the same energy. Why y'all shifting? Oh, oh, oh. I get it. I get it. Miami finally came into, you know, football mode. Because for the last couple of years, let's be honest, we ain't had the, the proper AD, the proper coaching. So now y'all scared. I love it. I love it. I remember, I always tell you guys, in every fan base, there are some sensible fans, some fans that has a little bit more sense, a little bit higher IQ than other. This guy says college football is much better when the U is doing great. I like this guy for now because he might say something stupid later. Um, then you got the other guy complaining about Texas a and and, you know, what they did with the top 100 kids they recruited last year and that Texas is um, hammering them. So, you, you know, Georgia fans don't just hate on us, Miami. I told y'all, they hating on Miami, Texas, and Texas a and m The schools that have the money and ain't afraid to show it. That's tough. Now, this fan says it's all fun and games when Miami takes the kids from Alabama. You know, the top recruits pick Miami over Alabama. But we would have a stroke if they took Janelle. <laughs> oh, my God. The insecurities in these fan base. Miami. Why, did, why are you doing it to them? Why are you? The, the dogs don't even bark no more. They ain't barking no more. <laughs> they cry. Now, this fan right here, I go lie. When I read this, I started laughing instantly. It said, add Samson. Okay, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> it's like this guy just was living under a rock. He hasn't seen the momentum that Miami has been, you know, going through for the last couple of weeks, this this last couple of months, to be honest with you. So, <laughs> When Samson commits, and I do believe he will commit to the University of Miami, a lot of crystal balls is coming through. This guy is going to lose his mind. He's going to be on, oh, shit, what is Miami doing alert? <laughs> oh, shit. This fan's like, oh, my uh, Mario was in the um, in the Pac-12. Couldn't make the playoffs. He had better facilities and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> The big bad national champion after 40 years is is worried about what Miami and Mario is going to do. Damn. 
Since when did we become so relevant to these other fan bases? I thought we was irrelevant. I thought we didn't do anything for the last 20 years. What is going on? What is going on, Georgia? Why are we on y'all mind? Why poor little us is on? Oh, is it because we've been taking the recruits that y'all want to? Is it because my Miami? Is it because Mario's been stuffing Kirby Smart in the locker room? <laughs> nah, remember the, the the comment I read earlier. It's on the screen. Somebody rec somebody actually replied to this guy. If Miami get Janelle and um, what's the other kid name? Um, um, Williams, Hakeem Williams. Um, <laughs> we're gonna get a, We're gonna catch a stroke around here. Now this reply is from another Georgia fan. Told him to go ahead and call your cardiologist. <laughs> um, he already see the writing on the wall. Miami's gonna get both of them, and then they go they gonna have a stroke. <laughs> oh my god! No, oh, not stroke. Oh my god! <laughs> Recruiting in 2022 is setting is sending Georgia fans to the hospital. Side note, one of Miami's on um, board says, our insider says that we're leaving for, um, what is it, Damian w Wilson or something like that? Now they're worrying about him too. <laughs> they're, worrying about, they're worrying about all of these guys that they think Miami could possibly take from them. Remember when, remember when we didn't matter to them? You, you remember that? Remember if we was in somebody's top five, they was in somebody's top five, they wouldn't even look at us? They would just rule us out. They are afraid. They are afraid. Oh my God. We are the boogeyman in 2022. Miami is the boogeyman. <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit. We're the villain. Now, what are you fans says? Mario Cristobal knows what he's doing. Yes, he knows what he's doing. But then you also got a salty fan that say, yeah, he knows how to throw NIL around. Laughing my ass off. Well, keep laughing, Mr. Bags Man up there in Georgia. What? Rush already exposed y'all in Alabama. We know y'all been throwing bags for years. It is what it is. But now that it's legal, you guys are crying. Now that the crime that you used to commit is legal, y'all are crying. Why? <laughs> Come on, you puppy child eating mother. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> now, like I told y'all, there are some reasonable and smart fans. This fan says, Basically, they, they, the, the, the comment was about us in Texas A&M and we being the new ATM, blah, 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 the money. And then this fan actually said, guys, Miami is actually an attractive destination. Give this guy the Nobel Peace Award. Give him, give him an Oscar. Give him an Emmy. Give him a BET Award. The MTV Award. This motherfucker right here smart. He's smart. <laughs> I, I like this guy, whoever this guy I ain't gonna say I like him because he might say something stupid later on too. <laughs> but get this guy an award right now. He deserves it, goddamn it. I remember when Miami constantly was bitching about us paying players. Hmm. That wasn't too long ago. And I don't think it was just Miami. I think it was the whole world. Y'all in Alabama. But what did they do about it? Nothing. Now, NIL is legal. So what are they going to do about it? Nothing. So them same bags that y'all used to give out under the table, why don't y'all just put it on top of the table now? It's that simple. It's not rocket science. Oh, wait. Y'all just like doing things the criminal way. That's tough. What is so attractive about Miami? Their facilities suck. All this, they don't have their own stadium. They, um, maybe the nightclubs and maybe the beaches. That's the only thing that's attractive about Miami. But for some odd reason, the players that you guys are going after, Mr. Kirby Smart, Kirby Dumb, whatever you want to call them, they're choosing to go to Miami. So obviously there's some things down here that's attractive. Now I do see that the New York Times put out that the coolest city in the world, in the country, in in the state is Miami. So I don't know, maybe that contributes. Maybe, maybe, maybe the kids are seeing that. And I mean, let's be honest. What the hell is attractive about Athens? Ain't nothing up there attractive. God dang it. <laughs>
Now, this one is hilarious. This one is hilarious. Seeing all these crystal ball, these random crystal ball coming in from Miami makes him want to go take a long shower. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. It's like Miami is getting the top 300 off 247 and just giving it to the boost and say, have at it. <laughs> This guy's a comedian. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, my God. These Georgia fans, they upset. They mad. Oh, boo. <laughs> oh, my God. Y'all are the defending champs. We don't feel sorry for y'all. We coming, bitch.